we've just been chilling at the apartment. Um, we went to Belle Isle earlier to get photos for the poster for the film. The working title is Optimist Apocalypse. That, however, is going to change, so we'll see what it will end up being. But it is a post-apocalyptic short film being produced by Carrie Street Cinematics, which you can follow on Instagram and TikTok. And yeah, it was really exciting being in a film being made by young filmmakers. So it was a great experience, but it was very hot. But, you know, that's Virginia for you. Um, but I'm here. I'm chilling at the apartment, which is like super, super cozy and cute. So we love that. And yeah, um, earlier, after we got the photos for the poster, we stopped and got a couple of birthday freebies, so that was nice. I don't usually take advantage of the birthday freebies, so I um, got some Starbucks, and the woman working there was like super, super sweet and nice, and they put like a little happy birthday, like in writing with balloons on the cup, so it was, it was really nice, and then we stopped at a couple other places, and then... We're gonna go watch a maze runner later um, when May comes back because she's at work right now. And May is, um, she's like the founder and in charge of Carrie Street Cinematics, and she directed the film yesterday. And she's great. She's super sweet. Um, yeah, it's been like great working with her and getting to know her. And yeah, she's awesome. Um, we're gonna watch Maze Runner later and kind of chill. Um, that's kind of the plan. But yeah, the two days before. Um, like yesterday and the day before, we filmed over two days at Belle Isle. We filmed, um, so it was like definitely a time crunch and super hot, but it was great working with everyone. And yeah, I'm excited for the film to go to festivals and eventually be shared on YouTube. So that'll be exciting. Um, it's definitely a challenge as an actor being the only actor and reacting to things happening around me instead of like, just the character. Because, like, as an actor, usually, you're feeding off of someone else, at least at some point in the film. But there are times when you're filming and you're just getting your coverage and you're just, like, someone from the crew is actually reading the lines of the other actor. And that is also, that feels really weird when you do that and you're getting your coverage and the other actor isn't there and stuff. Um, but I feel like it was a good challenge to be the only actor. Um, definitely felt like pressure, um, but in a good way, I guess you'd put it. Um, just like pressure, don't screw this up, you're the only actor. You're the only talent here, don't screw this up. Um, but I'm really glad I got to work with everyone and um, I'm hoping to be able to share some of like the behind the scenes. I wasn't able to vlog too much because it was pretty hectic and pretty like just go, go, go on set because you know, it's a short film. We had two days to shoot it. So that's how some of this film stuff goes. Um, so yeah, I was definitely hoping to vlog more, but um, I did get like a little clips of stuff, but my camera was like out of focus most of the time. But we did have Nadia there the first day on set and she got like a bunch of behind the scenes photos and videos. So that was like really cool that we were able to like, that she was able to capture that for us. So yeah, um, but yeah, I will check in later.